One of the biggest obstructions to me is I-35. I call it the Red Sea. It takes an act of God to cross it. In the late 1920s, the city council decided that we are going to pass an ordinance that every person of African descent who desires to have water, if you wanted to have uh, utilities, you had to move to East Austin. If you bought a house in a quote-unquote white neighborhood, they wouldn't turn the electricity on. When we first uh, got here, we learned that uh, incinerators were in the East Austin area. The airport was in the East Austin area. The dirty industries were relegated to those same neighborhoods. But then we built up our own nice community. My sense of community in East Austin was strong because you know, I went to church here, I went to school here. We managed to make our own environment, but now it too has proven to be desirable and people are now moving in droves. The price for raw land has gotten expensive, for existing houses has gotten expensive. When we say we don't mind sharing, we didn't mean come in and move everybody out. Out of what were our neighborhoods. When you have somebody walk across the street and say to your face, we saved this neighborhood. That's like me walking in your house and saying to you, I don't like your drapes. Once folks have crossed that Red Sea, they're increasingly comfortable on this side. If you don't know the history, you may repeat it. And a lot of that history has been ugly to us as a community, uh, as an East Austin neighborhood.